Okay, so this is going to be a bunch of videos on how to make a film recording template in Dorico. So Dorico comes with a pre-made film template, quote unquote, uh, and it's 90% you know, of the way there, but we're going to do a couple tweaks to make it more uh, appropriate for a recording session and just to follow some conventions of the film score world that this template doesn't really do. So here we are in our Steinberg hub, which is similar to the quick start menu in Sibelius. And here we are, uh, recent projects, we're going to go to orchestral. So these are our templates and film orchestra, and we can double click it. So this will open a very robust template. And today we're just going to talk about a couple things, time signatures and instrumentation. And I'm going to ramble, so we'll see how this goes. So first things first, when you open a Dorico project, uh, you don't have time signature and you don't have any bars. That's kind of kind of cool. For me, I like seeing a bunch of empty bars. So I'm going to click the first bar here. And first, I'm going to make a time signature. Okay, now I'm going to add the bars. And notice here we're doing the film thing right away with the big, you know, sans serif, narrow time signatures. Okay, so adding bars. We're going to add 32. And there we are. Okay, that that takes care of a, a, a big part of it. And this already looks like a film template. And I'm gonna turn off this system track because I don't really I don't really like it. So let's look at the instrumentation first. We can look up here in setup, but we'll just go through here. Let's see. Uh, a hand tool. So we have two flutes, two oboes, two clarinets, two bassoons, and there's our wind family and the family gets its own time signature then we have brass four horns trumpets trombone we could probably use a tuba so we'll add one or a bass trombone then we have timp three percussion harp two keys two guitars kind of cool and then a string section so let's add some instruments you might think okay well where's piccolo right that might be the first thing that you uh you would flag as an instrument you want to add. So I'm going to hit control one, or I could have just clicked up here at setup. And here's our list of players. Now, if you're not familiar with Dorico, or if you're coming from Sibelius, we don't add instruments, we add players, generally speaking. And actually, check this out, this is cool. So we have flute one and two, but over here, under the players, we have flute one, flute two, and piccolo. So much like a uh, conventional mid-sized orchestra, you have players who double, right? So flute two will double on piccolo if you only have two flute players. If you have three flute players, then flute three would double on piccolo. Uh, you can also have your own dedicated piccolo player if you want. But in this case, I think this is a really nice system. So we're going to talk about how to do that. I'll show you how to add, let's say we want an E flat clarinet. So we're going to give it to the B flat clarinet player. Okay, so I'm going to click this. And we're going to add an instrument. So I'm going to type in clarinet, clarinet, E flat. And now we have the second clarinet player is playing two instruments now. Cool. Okay, so that's how to add an instrument to an existing player. Let's add an additional instrument. We're going to, I noticed there are two guitars, which is pretty cool. We're going to add a bass guitar if we're doing a rock thing or anything pop, really. So we're gonna go down here to the add player. And down here we have what's called an empty handed player. And up here we have this. So I'm gonna type in bass guitar, which lives in fretted instruments. We'll go five string. And now we have this bass guitar down here, but we're not gonna put him below the string section. We're gonna put him up under the guitars, him or her up under the guitars. And look at this, this is great. It's recognized that it's kind of in the fretted strings family, so it's bracketed, which is nice. We'll do one more thing. We're gonna add an entire new ensemble. So this is a big film thing. You add a, like, you might wanna overdub the strings. So we're gonna add a second string section and we're gonna label it like violin overdubs, viola overdubs, right? So down here in the bottom left corner, 
we've got this little button which is add ensemble and where are you strings double click string section boom amazing well sort of amazing so we have our proper string section here except now we have weird labels like viola one not cool so we're going to rename some stuff so over here i'm gonna this is a little wonky i'm kind of figuring this out as i go so i've clicked violin three i'm gonna edit the name and we're gonna call it violin od for overdub and we'll call it violin od and we go down to this new okay so now the instrument is called violin od and it shows up here that's cool uh, now we're going to do the same thing for these next instruments. There's probably a better way to do this, but I just kind of am figuring this out as I go, if you can't tell that. So since I named both of these OD, now they automatically become OD1, OD2. Okay, so I'm going to rename these. Um, maybe I'll figure out how to fast forward that. Okay, done. So now we have our proper string section and our overdub string section. And we're going to deal with this bracket now. I believe the way to do this is we're going to go over to engrave mode. And we're going to, I guess I can just drag that. Yeah. And then how do I do this? Grab you out of bracket. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. So this looks good. We've got our separate brackets. This does not look good. I don't like how there's an individual time signature for each one. So I think the trick is, let, let me undo that. I think the way to do this is you go to setup and we're gonna select all of these. And what is this? Add group, maybe? Hey, okay, cool. Add group, we're, we're all learning here. Looks good. Looks great. Cool. And on the subsequent pages, it's grouped. Uh, one more bracket thing. I don't like this brace between violin one and two. It makes sense in, in other sections when you have, you know, bone one and two, flute one and two. It's, it's two different players playing the same instrument. But violin one and two has never really made sense to me. I don't know if, if this is the way it's supposed to be, but I, I would just click this and delete it. I've never really thought of that as needing a, a, a brace or a bracket or whatever. But the option's there. And since I deleted it there, it is not present on the subsequent pages. Okay, so we may as well talk about the flute 2 piccolo thing. You might say, okay, well, great, flute 2 has a piccolo, but I need to write some piccolo stuff, and I'm looking at the score, and there's no staff for the piccolo for me to even write in. Hmm. This is a bit of a rabbit hole, and if you are already a Dorico user, then you can just skip this. But coming from Sibelius, this is a pretty, pretty cool thing. Okay, so I'm going to just delete that uh, key sig. Okay, if flute 2 is doubling on piccolo, that means the flute 2, like the second flautist, their part needs to be labeled, you know, flute 2 and piccolo. And when they're playing flute, it needs to be labeled that they're playing flute, and when they switch to pick, it should say to pick, and then you have the piccolo notation, and they switch back, it says to flute, etc. So that way it's all handled on one staff. First things first, uh, we need to switch views. Actually, I may as well, I'll, I'll just copy some of this stuff over into, uh, into the second flute. I'm going to copy it, paste it, and we'll, we'll move it up now. I might mess this up. Okay, perfect. We go up here to view. We are going to switch from page view to galley view. So what is the difference between page view and galley view? Well, if you're coming from Sib, this is like um, Panorama, where you aren't really seeing an actual representation of what will be on the printed page. You're just seeing the stuff that you're writing. So when we see this, uh, there's going to be information that won't actually show up on the score. And one of those things, if we look over here, piccolo. Okay, so now we see our piccolo staff. We also, because I added a clarinet in E-flat, we see that as well, and that doesn't show up in the score. 
So here's where it gets kind of cool. I copied some music. I'm going to paste it into the piccolo part and bring it up the octave. And then I'll put more back into the flute two part. And now if we get out of galley view, back to page view, my God, flute two, do, 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 do. Warning to switch, piccolo part, to flute, back to flute. Incredible. So we don't have to deal with copying and pasting things from one step to another, or the other enormous headaches that you get when you're trying to part out stuff. Now, speaking of parts, if we look at the flute two part, labeled flute two and piccolo, labeled with an initial flute marking, piccolo, flute, amazing, so good. Easy, super easy.